take two because we weren't recording that. So, good morning again. <laughs> what up? Say hi, babe. Um, we're in the car right now, headed to our first appointment ever, which we're both super excited. Oh, headed by some popo. Yeah, we're both super excited. We're headed to our first appointment right now. Um, I think we're both a little nervous just because we don't know what to expect, but also we're excited. Um, Wayne, what's your, what are you most excited for? Most excited to see the baby, most nervous that it's healthy. Yeah, just to make sure everything's looking good and stuff. I am too most excited to see the baby like on the ultrasound. You're turning left up at this light. And um, I'm also excited to hear the heartbeat and stuff. I just like, I just honestly can't wait. We have not been to um, the doctors yet or any appointment because we are up in Canada. So this is our first time and I am 13 weeks pregnant via my calculations. So <laughs> we'll see Will when they tell, tell me, yeah, they'll tell me how, like how big baby's measuring and give me like my actual due date. Um, and we'll see if it matches up with the apps. I believe I'm due November 27th. So we'll see if that's correct or not. But um, I'm just like really, Anxious. Anxious is the best word because it's like you're nervous and you're excited, you know? I'm it's like nervous. all your emotions in one. Get more nervous the closer we get. Yeah. And since this is our first appointment, I think we have to do a lot of stuff. Like I think we have to do a blood test, urine test, you um, pee. ultrasound. What? So you gotta pee? We'll see. <laughs> We'll find out, but um, yeah, I just, I can't believe that today's the day we get to see our little baby. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> We're going to try to get as much um, footage as we can. Like I want to, I want to get the ultrasound and the heart rate and stuff. So Wayne's going to be in charge of that in there. Try right, baby. And then when we get home, we'll show you guys my bump or lack thereof. I don't really have one during the day, but at night, like after I've eaten during the day and stuff, I can definitely push that puppy out there, so. Your phone's about to die. Great. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> it's me. We just got oh out of gosh. our appointment and yay! It was pretty cool. It was so cool. Um, well, first let us just say, baby, when you're watching this in the future, you were in a terrible spot for your mom and dad to see you. We saw your back, we saw your spine. <laughs> back of your head. And that's about it. Oh, we saw your face too, but we didn't see like a profile or anything. So we weren't able to see everything, but um, it was still so cool and we couldn't record anything in there, which is a bummer. But we enjoyed the moment. Yeah, it was, it was really cool. Like, yeah, that was cool. I'm still kind of in shocked a little bit. Like I still honestly don't believe it. A little, I'm a little bit. I'm a little more relieved knowing that everything's healthy. Yeah, everything's healthy. I was Baby very looking nervous good. About that. Just make sure everything was and okay. And look, we got some pictures. They're not that great though. <laughs> no, but this one's pretty good. You can see like your spine and stuff. Or a baby's spine. Your spine too. Anyway, the beats. Uh, your heartbeat was at 152. 152. Which I think that's the boy range. Cammy thinks it's girl range. Pretty sure it's girl range. Maybe I'm just hoping it's boy range. You know how to get my blue, wear my blue today. <laughs> we'll see. But um, our next one is in a few weeks. And... We're excited. Yeah! I'm so pumped. I just can't wait. I'm... <laughs> But they said everything looks really good and um, we got to go back in 45 minutes to draw blood because 
they're like closed for lunch right now. Yeah, which we gotta go get lunch. Yeah, which we're gonna go get lunch. Where do you wanna go? I don't know, I gotta find out. Chipotle! You wanna go there? Kind of. All right, we're going to Chipotle. Wait, any last I just, thoughts? I'm glad everything went well. Wayne's face was really cute. Like the second we got the baby up there, I looked at Wayne and Wayne was like, <gasps> like just wide eyed wide mouth he was like oh my gosh like there is the baby it's my kid it was super little still like yeah it was really little which was weird though because i thought it would look big because the screen is just like it was, it was yeah cool, like though. the baby looked littler than i thought technology is awesome yeah and she told us oh baby has a stomach baby has a skull left baby leg has... right leg left arm right arm yeah skull, all of the spine. limbs are there it was cool to see the spine. spine the spine was pretty cool to, for me to she see. said like what his or his, i don't mean his baby's stomach like some bladder. of the organs she saw yeah the bladder, bladder. Uh, i don't know it was cord. just oh yeah umbilical cord it was all so cool. Like Wayne and I were looking at it. I'm like, how do you see the umbilical cord on this screen? Like, so here's your uterus. I'm like, it just looks like black and white screen. Yeah, <laughs> like it's amazing what they can see and stuff. Yeah. And oh, the biggest news we probably got is I'm measuring, baby is measuring one week bigger than original. So I'm 14 weeks in a day. and one day rather than 13. And then um, our due date got changed to November 21st, which is one of my best friend's birthdays. So that's kind of cool. Megan. Oh. Um, and she said that come the 20th ultrasound, if baby's measuring differently, they might change it back to the original one. But that was kind of interesting. It, yeah, I thought, it meant I thought that the if baby anything was big. Was, like we're having a big baby. It's just, yeah, like baby's just growing faster than. Well, we are like six foot and six six, so. What else? Um, but um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I thought like right when the baby popped up, we could see the baby on the ultrasound. I kind of thought for a second that it was gonna baby was gonna be smaller because of how little baby looked. I don't know. Do you agree though? Like yeah, it was baby like, I mean, was, it was small, a smaller like, picture, but it was like blown up to the whole screen. That's what I was getting. Yeah, but you know how little that is in me? Yeah, like, I know, like that big. So but I you thought. You can see an arm, the arm's like this big. Yeah, so I thought to myself, I was like, I wonder if baby's measuring smaller because it looks really small. But um, yeah, that, that was kind of also the weird thing about the whole thing was she said, baby is head down facing and facing spine. my spine. So we could literally only see the back of baby. Like we got a 3D ultrasound photo and it's just baby's back. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna make me cry. All right, we're leaving. I'm about to sneeze though, actually. We're going to get lunch. See ya. I just wanted to come here and sit for a sec and give just a quick update on my thoughts and feelings and just what's going through my head after this first appointment. Um, we're back home now. Here is my uh, bandage from, they drew 10 vials of blood. So it was quite a lot. My hand was going numb, but it's not bad at all. Things like that don't really get to me. So it was fine, but I am on like cloud nine today you guys it has been the coolest thing to hear the heartbeat and see the ultrasound see the baby like it still baffles me that the baby I saw like is in me I don't know it's the weirdest feeling and it's weird to not cope with because I don't think cope is the right word but like fully understand I don't know especially when I don't really have a ton of symptoms and I feel great and um I don't, I, I'm, I haven't gained weight, like, it's just, it's all crazy to me that there's just, like, a life in me, and it's just even more proof of our creator, and the coolest thing to think that, like, he chose Wayne and I to be this baby's parents, and to love and protect, and, um, it's a lot all to take in, but it has been seriously just the coolest day. I literally... My voice gets shaky thinking about it and I get shaky because it's just crazy to know like there's literally a life in you and 
that you're fully in charge of that and not only that but like that God chose you to be in charge of this life and that he is going to empower you and equip you to be this kid's parents and it's the coolest feeling for Wayne and I so we are seriously so excited I have not stopped smiling since I've been home I just keep looking at the pictures and keep thinking back to the ultrasound and everything we saw I'm so excited for my next one I'm like let's go like can I go back tomorrow and get another ultrasound like <laughs> it was just the coolest thing ever and so we're so glad to know that everything is great with the baby and that baby's looking good and growing good and fast I guess because <laughs> I'm a week uh, I guess later than I thought I was so it's all just been so cool and I want to do everything I can to continue with just a joyful pregnancy that's been my word this whole pregnancy is just a joyful experience I know that it's going to be hard and painful and full of emotion and challenging but I just want it to be such a joyful experience and one that I can truly look back on and be thankful for and joyful for and um feel closer to the Lord because of it like I already have felt such a deeper connection with the Lord and I know that's just going to keep growing and um literally you hear my voice shake like it's crazy I'm just still in awe like I'm literally still in awe okay I'm such a dingling I was just filming and I never even pressed record so I just wanted to jump on and record this because I just walked out of the building of getting the baby's gender. I am so excited, you guys. I was so worried my results weren't going to come back in time. Today is Friday and the reveal is Sunday. So today was the last day that the results could have came in and they got in this morning. So I have no desire to like break this open and look right now. I am just over the moon that we're actually going to be able to do the party and find out with all of our friends and family because I seriously was so worried. I was thinking like, will we cancel the party? Will we? I had no idea. So I'm just over the moon that I actually have the reveal like that we'll actually be able to do it. My whole family thinks I'm going to try to cheat, but I'm not. That's not at all how I want to find out. I really want to find out with Wayne and my family at the party, popping the basketball or smashing it, I guess, and seeing the color that way. So I have no temptation, I guess, to open this. I am just like freaking out that like the party's actually happening and the reveal is in my hands, or I guess baby's gender. But she's so cute. She put on top, she wrote Cami McCullough baby's gender, but she did it all in um, like rainbow colors. Can you guys even see that? I don't know if it will. I'm just seeing my reflection, so I don't even know if you guys can see that, but so cute. So I'm not even going to like put that up into the light. Not even. That's not how I want to find out, but ee! I'm so excited that it's actually happening. I can't believe that. Like, in two days, I'm going to find out if we're having a boy or a girl. <sighs> I'm over the moon. Seriously, my cheeks are going to hurt so bad after this. Ever since I called this morning and I was like, okay, today's the last day. Let's look if my results are in because I have been I had been calling every day. And they kept saying, no, they're not in, they're not in. And so today was the last day I called and she's like, let me log on to your profile or portal or whatever. And she goes, oh, like she kind of like, ooh, you know, wasn't quite sure. And I was like, uh-oh. And she goes, they're in. And I was like, what? Like, I was so excited. A part of me just like, a part of me was so worried that they weren't going to get here. So I'm way more over the moon that it's all going to go as planned rather than having to cancel the party. So I'm so thirsty. I didn't bring water. As you guys can tell, I'm probably like breathing heavily because I am excited and I didn't bring water. Empty. So I'm going to go home now and finish working for the day. It's 
And then tomorrow we have a full day of things for the gender reveal. And, and then the gender reveal will be on Sunday. So, yay! I'm so pumped. Wayne and I both were like, heck yes. Like, thank you, Lord, that the results got here in time. I'd been praying last night, woke up praying. I was like, oh my gosh, Lord, please, 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 please have these results in. Like, and they're here. So, I can't wait. I'm excited to see afterwards like how she wrote it on there because I think that's kind of fun like if she wrote it big little small whatever so um after the reveal and stuff I'm excited to see how she wrote it down but <laughs> and I still have no idea at this point so I'm sure Wayne and I will go into that later but we both have absolutely no idea what this baby is so <sighs> I'm so excited I'm so pumped Reveal is in what like 48 hours. Yeah, two days from Almost now so yeah! I am so pumped you guys I'm gonna try not to. Hey, where do you want me hiding? No pressure You want me here? Do we do countdown? You want me here? I'm gonna dunk it like this Okay. So, just get back to the 